Hey, how's it going? I'm getting a lot of questions about the track, so this is the video where I'm going to tell you about it. So I built the track. It's uh, four foot high here at the top, and then it slopes down 24 feet to the bottom, just to the ground. I actually cut it off and built a new um, finish line system. It used to just dead end at the end, but I changed that up. Anyways, here's the start line. I just built this out of some scrap pine wood, uh, one by twos. And I put these in for spacers, these track connectors, because I actually cut this piece of plexiglass too short. So I just hinged this in there with some door hinges. And to start it, I just lift up on this screw, which releases the cars from back behind. Um, the line is straight, and to the bottom it's 20 feet, 7 and a quarter, I think, whatever. I figured out what exactly a scale 64th quarter mile is. And that's how far it is from that black line to the one at the end. So there's that part. And the track I made out of plywood, I bought a sheet of plywood and I cut it into one foot by four foot strips and lined that down the track and then cut these one inch strips and made it so the track had a place to rest inside of there. So it's half inch plywood. So let's go down to the bottom of the track now. Let's check out the finish line. Oh, I also, the track is not screwed down to this. It's just connected. There are these four feet pieces of track. I don't know if you can see these here, but they're four, four foot long. And Meyer had these, uh, they got a whole bunch of them. And they were like $2 a strip, which was ridiculous. But then they clearanced it all out like a week later for 74 cents. So I bought a whole bunch of it. And it's all, all that it is, is four foot track. I cut this bottom piece off when I sawed off the finish line. So I had just to stop and then I put this, this is actually a bag of rice inside a cloth. Works awesome. The car stopped pretty easily there. Now I built this finish line myself. We're going to take a look at it. Just plug it in here. It comes on. There's the displays. And then I haven't made a switch yet, but uh, I just short out the two wires and it starts the timer. And then, uh, as you can see here, I'm stopping it out, and then the time will come up. And then there's a reset button back here. So how I built this is, I found plans on a website. I'll put all this information uh, down in the description. But I found plans on a website that told me how to build this. I had no prior electronic experience whatsoever, so I was kind of in the dark on this. And here it is. So this is the Arduino board there and I bought this circuit board from that website and I put all this stuff on it myself. So you had to buy the circuit board and all the components separate. Solder all of it together and he actually sells the circuit board with a decent number of these components. Now I had to buy some stuff from Radio Shack and I had to buy some stuff from a different website but uh, it was all you know pretty easy to do. It tells you how to stick this stuff in there and solder it and hook it all up. And then I bought these displays from Adafruit. And then I built this board to put the displays in myself. So I just took a scrap piece of plywood and measured where these needed to go to line up over the lanes. And I cut the holes in there with the scroll saw and uh, put, the, put the displays in there and then wired this whole thing up. It's kind of a mess. So these wires here, you got the LEDs that go down the top, as you can see there in the holes. And then these wires here go around to the bottom. And underneath here, on the bottom, I don't know if you can see that, it's pretty dark, but on the bottom are the photo sensors. So those are all wired up into the board, the uh, circuit board there. And uh, that's how it works. So I took the LED holders and put them underneath the track and then drilled holes in the track so that it was a clear shot from the LEDs underneath there. I don't know if you can see them, but the LEDs are underneath there and they shine down making the light. And then when the light gets blocked at the photo sensor by the car, it registers and tells you which one won. So that's basically how it goes. Like I said, I'll put all the information of where all that stuff came from down in the description. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I will try to help you out. Um, there you have it. Thanks for watching. Please check out my other videos and have a great day.